Welcome everyone in another Cray Engine tutorial video. I'm Fury22 and today we're gonna have a little short video about action filters. This is gonna be very quick but very useful knowledge. So, um, but first of all, check this website. It gathers all of my tutorials. And not only my, I mean, at the moment it's only my tutorials here, but there will be, there will be more uh, people doing tutorials and they all will be will be over here so uh, definitely check the website and alright uh, so let's do it action filters what they are they are pretty much a um, kind of uh, as it's as it as their name says it's a filter right so if we okay I'm gonna just show you by going in here you remember that folder config you got you got your keys configuration in here right this is our you remember the move left right and stuff and inventory pick up whatever there is also a way to filter them if you don't want any of this action to to actually work at the moment like for example if we open the inventory we don't really want player to shoot or rotate or move around with the left right forward backward we don't want this to happen right so we want these actions to be filtered out but this one should be still available so we can switch it off right so in order to do that we have to go in here see the action map is over here so you're not creating this inside in here what you're gonna do you're gonna create the outside so it's gonna be called action oh sorry action filter action filter uh, name and this is gonna be obviously name of your filter let's say inventory filter let's, let's call it like this type um, I don't know what kind of types they have in CryEngine. I j so far I just know the action fail. I'm not sure if they have any more of them, but most likely they have. But I don't know. This is this is what I'm sure about. So action filter. If any of you knows if they have different types and what they do, then I'll be glad to if you sh if you share with me. So action name which action do we want to filter when we open the inventory for example obviously let's say move left yeah that's pretty much all we need here yeah we're gonna put more of these we got left right forward backward we want because obviously in the inventory we're gonna move the cursor around but we don't want player to rotate in order to do this we have to also disable these actions mouse rotate rotate we don't want to shoot anything we don't want to be able to pick up okay I'm gonna just copy and paste what I have to move back okay left right forward backward mm -hmm. We don't want to shoot and we don't want to pick up anything. We don't disable this one because you won't be able to switch off the whole inventory. So that's the action filter. If we call it from C++, enable it, then these actions won't work anymore until we switch it off. So um, let's do a quick C++ thing over here. Um, I'm still using the same project and as in previous videos, so this is quite good because it seems like we are building some little game just by you know making tutorials so that's quite cool anyways um yeah let's let's just wait a little bit for this piece of shit it's initializing on the other screen mm, almost there as you remember from my previous videos, we created the mine menu. That was good. But what we want now, we want to go into our inventory system. Obviously, you can do it where wherever you want. But if you follow my previous videos, 
then you know what I'm doing now. So if you don't know what I'm doing, then go and watch my previous videos. Forgot to say that. But um, yeah, uh, in order to do that, we have to go into player input and see what it does. Okay, we have our open inventory function somewhere here inventory and it opens inventory system right so if inventory is open and then false inventory mouse off okay inventory close so this is the inventory open function once it's opened we want to disable uh, player movement we want to disable these actions yes yeah? so in order to do that we have to go to action filter by action filter call it whatever you want oh sorry that was my mistake yeah yet I action map manager that's what it was I action map manager. Yeah, that's all. That that's exactly what we had before with oh we actually didn't okay so the filter enable filter this time. Right? So as you remember name of our filter was inventory filter and we want to enable or disable this filter. Enabling filter means um, you know disabling actions. We enable filter so our player won't be able to move anymore. We want also the same filter to be disabled when we close the inventory, right? So let's go disable. Oh sorry, what the hell am I doing? False, yeah. <laughs> so let's um just oh god, okay, okay, that's gonna be wrong. Because I haven't initialized that pointer over here. Okay, let it just. That was my mistake. You see, it's giving it highlights on the right over here. So, um, it's not a big deal. Okay, okay, of course. It doesn't know what the filter is, so we're gonna do the same in here. That's pretty much it. What we can do actually, we could because it's inside of the same function, we can put it on the top, and now the filter is gonna work here and there. And so, yeah, so first of all, you have to initialize the, the action map manager as always, and filter filter over here. Okay, cool. Now we can build it once again. That should be no errors over here. If there are, it means probably you need to include some file, but it does not show me anything. So uh, let's try it out. That's gonna be a short video, below ten minutes. In less than ten minutes, unless it's initializing some longer time but it's already been like 8 8:30. Oh, I want to make some short advertisement. I want to say that tomorrow starts new series in game menu. So, similar to main menu, but we're going to be able to access this from the game. So, we're going to press escape button and we're going to, you know, go into some some little um menu that is inside of the game that will allow us to resume to the game get back to the game or uh, exit game completely or uh, quit to mine menu so we got our mine menu over here start game I'm gonna load my map or the example yeah so what we're gonna do now we wanna press I and see if our action filter works so I'm c I can move player around I press I and as you can see game is not frozen but my player is so I can do whatever I want here move the mouse press the buttons on this on the keyboard and nothing happens when I press it again then I can move my player back so awesome that's all for today this was really short but um, very I think very useful for you so um, see you in the in-game menu videos or something so see you later